Hello everyone, welcome to another video view. This is the Figma Ruby Rose from the show Ruby. You can see her there in front of her box. We'll put her off the side real quick. And yep, let's add box. You can see, uh, well, Ruby right there, number 596 and Figma and Ruby Rose in both English and Japanese, Ruby Rozu. And yeah, you have the Ruby Ice Queendom because officially that's what it's for. You got the Ruby logo and everything. And in the background there, you might be able to vaguely see the uh, Rose symbol in the inner box and Max Factory up here and all that on the top you have figma and a nice pose of her on the side you have her in a pose and pose and the bottom you have another the same pose at the top and on the back you have a whole bunch of product shots and copyrights and warnings and yeah it's not for anyone under the age of 15. they're not for children also of course comes with instructions in both japanese and in english and pretty much tells you which parts to use where and whatnot because particularly there's a lot of different hand parts which is very important which use the right one because otherwise you could damage them and yeah uh there's that so you have Ruby. Yep, the first yep, the first uh Figma for the Ruby franchise. First of only two announced, which makes me a little concerned, particularly since Ruby is not uh looking like it's actually gonna get might I, I things are going weird. Thanks, WB. It's Asloff. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh yeah, Ruby here. This is their season or volume one outfit. You can see her there, nice you know, short hair, the silver eyes, the red cloak with little uh Class there, you got the black and red um, outfit with the silver rose right there. You got the little well, ammo right there on the belt. You got the little belt right there, the red at the edge of the skirt. You got the black and red fate, um, gradient on the thighs there. You got the and legs. You got the black and red boots. All the stuff, the cape, you know, is multi jointed. You can see yeah, overall pretty darn good looking. Yeah, it also comes with the stand. She also comes with the stand here, and this is actually all okay. The base is the the part that came with the came with it. You can see it's got the uh, copyright stuff on the bottom there. You know the rooster teeth and all that. That's the base that came with it. This arm, however, is not the one that came with it. The one that came with it is over here. It snapped. Just snapped when I was trying to put it in. And my guess is, uh. Basically, uh, the, because of this kind of the rubberier plastic for the cape, plus the fact it was a bit cold out, and I, you know, I opened it. I should have waited before I, you know, start messing with it. But try to push it in, and it just snapped right off. And that was that. Try to glue it. That didn't work. So yeah, I have to get a replacement stand. That one came from a different Figma, just so I could show it off. But yeah, because yeah, it's supposed to, you know, do the whole thing. Because that's the, the sand here is the same. Yeah, I ordered a replacement, so that will come eventually. But it's not here yet. So uh, yeah, but. That was just real frustrating. So be careful. The cape, because of the kind of plastic it is, when it's cold, it might not let you put plug it in. So be careful with the stand thing and don't do what I did. Don't be stupid. But anyway, um, yeah, decent looking figure overall, other than that little thing that almost soured everything for me. Um, yeah, decent looking figure overall. And looks like her season one self. Some people are clamoring for, you know, her later iterations, but well, we guess we gotta get, you know, the volume one version first, and well, yeah. And her and Weiss so far, the only ones were announced. We still don't have Blake and Yang announced, which is a little concerning. But yeah, um, posability wise, you do have a ball joint up here. So you left and right, you got up and down, you got the waggle, all that stuff. I'm gonna get this off the stand because she can, as I, well, she can well stand without it. It's just her cape is so heavy that yeah, it takes a little bit of doing. But she can stand without the stand here. Um, removing the cloak because the cloak is removable. Cloak, cloak, robe, cape, whatever you want to call it, it is removable just yeah it just pegs in right then you can plug the stand into the back right there too as well but this will just make it easier easier to do that some of the posability stuff shoulders you know you got up and down right here you have full rotation if you want you do have um yeah this ball joint so you have the whole waggly bit right there you can rotate it below the ball joint as well you have the elbows which curl up nice that far and there's a bicep as well Your rotation at the bicep you have the hand is on a rotation and can swivel on that one joint right there bringing it down a bit right here you have um a ball joint in the tor mid torso so you know you got back and forward and all, all around like that there is a, a technically a rotation here it's below the skirt but there's a rotation there it also has that some of the film figment has this but you know they can extend out for better posing or legs can move forward and back you know forward that far and back that far and also the ball joint here allows it to you know move even further if you want the skirt is made of much more of a rubbery material plus there is uh, splits in it so it allow for different poses you do have outward about that far you have a rotation at the thigh you have a knee bend about that much 
weirdly purplish. Uh, you can, I guess, rotate at the knee as well. It's going to look weird, though. Down here at the feet, you do have forward and back on the ankle. You do have tilting as well, and you have rotation, and you have a toe joint. So, yep, she does have a good amount of posability on the main body. And she stands a lot better without the cape because of all the weight. Speaking of the cape, though, um, cape bits, these are all in ball joints, the same kind of ball joints. So you got upwards and out, we got rotation upwards and outwards and all that stuff. And you can adjust these as necessary, you know, for different kinds of poses and or just get out of the way for the stand. <laughs> so there's all that stuff going on. Get plugged in, get her standing again. And then, of course, she comes with a bunch of accessories. And when, of course, the accessories come with an accessory bag. Pretty straightforward, that. Yeah. Comes with a lot of accessories, including a um, replacement uh, joint piece, just in case something breaks. Well, they're not for the sand. <laughs> a little hand plinth. One of these things, again. You know, you know different hands. Because on top of her splayed hands right there, she has closed fists, grasping hands, or big grasping hands. Kind of a different loose grasp and a different kind of grasp because you can see you can see the size difference between those two grasping hands. Yeah, there's for different parts of the scythe. Plus you have a th another grasping hand for very specific poses as well, though the one doesn't work super well in my opinion. Uh, she has alternate faces, including a winking face and her, I guess, angry or fighting face, whichever you want to prefer, whichever you prefer. She's got her uh, weapon in the kind of the gun mode, the shotgun mode. Even a little barrel, nice red and black there, and a little scope and handles and everything. And of course, the fully extended crescent rose scythe. I guess also sniper rifle, if you, you know, hold it a particular way. Yeah, it can be, yeah. For different weapons and whatnot. And uh, swaps are pretty easy. Um, let's see, I don't want to do this first. Oop. They're coded in such a way. Um, yeah, let's do this. So like, soften the hands pretty easy, you know, just once again, just, you know, you angle it a bit, pop that off, it makes it a little easier if you angle it, otherwise you might ball, pop the whole thing out. Pop the new hand on, like so, and whatnot. Pop the hand off. Pop another hand on. There we go, like so. And then, yeah, this hand can, you know, this can be used for the, you know, grasp uh, to hold this bit, although it's kind of loose, in my opinion. Yeah, it's kind of a bit loose, in my opinion. Yeah, it can hold that, or it's supposed to hold that. It's just, again, looser than I'd like. It can hold that. This hand can kind uh, of, kind of do this. Again, it's not ideal, in my opinion. It's just uh, got that going on. If you also if you swap hands, you can just have his hand hold uh, this part or a different hand do it if you want. Is that and it comes with a scythe. Uh, let's see, big hands. Yeah, the big hands here. You see, actually, yeah, the big hands are supposed to be are for or the not big hands, but the Hands with the big open clasping thing is for the holding the scythe specific ink spots and whatnot. Yeah, like this one can hold like right here. There's a gripping spot right here and it can, you have to kind of, yeah, you have to unfortunately you have to bend the hand up, which is always a fun time. It warned you, hey, be careful when doing this. Like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and be real careful. This one, the thumb is actually a little marred on mine because I tried to get it in there. But yeah, it's like, she can hold that, but yeah, it's a uh, very specific how it works. And like, look, she's actually presenting like, Hey, look at my crescent rose. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it ridiculously large for a girl my size? <laughs> actually, the fact that it's actually stable to stand like this, even with this big old thing, cause it's not exactly hip, um, lightweight, pretty impressive. Oh, by the way, when you were handling this, uh, these bits are a little pointy, so be careful. Yeah. That, is that um, you have the, the smaller, you know, like if you want to hold it a particular way, the uh, smaller 
grasping hands can uh let's see there we go and the smaller hands can hold this bit right here at the bottom just gotta be careful with it Again, it's one of those things you've wished that I wish this thing actually kind of came apart to make it a little easier to slide in their hand and whatnot, but it does not. So it makes it, you know, much tougher to actually, you know, do anything with. <laughs> much tougher. But it's doable. It's just, you got to want it. And it's sometimes it's also easier to put the hand on before you attach it to her arm. Sometimes, like in a case like this. Trying to get it on. There we go. Yep. Again. She's standing with the stand, which is impressive, all things considered. Uh, the ninth hand is, was it right here? Yeah. So the ninth hand right here is supposed to go over this handle so she can uh, hold it a specific way. Problem is they want you to do it like this, and this doesn't actually give enough room. Having the hand like this, see, it fits on there, that's fine. I know this kind of looks weird, just bear with me. It doesn't give enough room for it to actually attach to the sleeve because the sleeve is poofy. So what happens is, Again, I'm going to be, oops, yes, that's, that's one of the things they kind of warn you about. Yeah, what happens is, I'm getting this hand on here. See, yeah, the hand is at an angle, the, the, the peg's in at an angle, right? See, it's supposed to, grasp it you know but that, that's the thing is right here the sleeves kind of get in the way so now it doesn't want to grasp pro and grasp properly figures now finally does it after all this time of me fighting it, it does finally grasp properly on camera makes me look like an idiot go figure right but yeah it's supposed to do that you know it's, it's supposed to be like that you know she can grasp it a specific way and there you go she's holding crescent rose and this hand is working in conjunction with it and it works it actually works. Before it was just like this was not going on, like at all. I, I like try to put it on, hold, get her to hold it, and either only hold it halfway or bump into the sleeve, and it was just really frustrating to say the least. I have no idea why it's suddenly working, but it is. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah, that's kind of a bunch of the hands, real quick. Uh, faces, of course, are pretty straightforward as well. And pop the hair off, pop the face off. Pop the face off, and then, you know, pop the other one on. Pop the hair back on and straightforward. There you go. Now Ruby's winking. Yeah, the fact she can stand like that is actually, again, pretty impressive to me. So, whoop, there you go. See, so that's not the greatest grip in the world, but... Yeah, so it's a little... And, of course, now it doesn't want to stay in there. It was staying in there, now it doesn't want to stay. Figures. <sighs> yeah. The fact she can stand with crescent rows like that is actually pretty impressive. Uh, the other face works exactly the same, you know, swapping around. But, yeah... I just need to show, I was trying to show off all the different ways she can hold the weapons just because it's, uh, yeah. But yeah, um, and she's standing without the sand, which is impressive in its own right. But yeah, this, it's still annoying that the sand broke on mine, but it is kind of my, my, kind of partially my fault. But there you go. Looks great. I'm going to bring out um, the Nendoroid Ruby just uh, for the sake of it. And you can see she's got the little peg and everything. That works just fine. Yeah, you can see works just fine as it is. So uh, there you go. Interesting enough, that's a different shade of red. Huh. Didn't really notice that just now. But yeah. Uh, Figma Ruby. Um, pretty good overall. Watch out for the stand. Don't be dumb like I am. Uh, the hand, 
I don't know, some of the, it might take some breaking in with the hands because particularly since you have to kind of um, bend them and squeeze them around parts to get them to fit. But so just be mindful of that. But otherwise, she's pretty darn, darn decently posable. And like also, yeah, you can see she can stand without the, you know, even holding this fairly significantly large scythe thing and she can stand without the stand. So, you know, it's impressive. You just got to, you know, be willing to work for that. But yeah, it's overall pretty decent. Got a... Not a whole lot of actually, if you look at it, she's like got a handful of, she's got some hands, a couple of extra faces and two weapons. Really not a lot of accessories, but they're big accessories. So she kind of fills out the, the price point, I believe. Well, how much did she cost me? Just, uh, I think somewhere around 80 bucks or so off Amazon Japan. She's now sold out a little lot of places. So good luck on that. But yeah. Um, she's not bad. She's actually pretty good. It's just, yeah, that, for me, there's a little bit of coloration of like the first time I messed with it, like stuff was just not cooperating. Might've just still been just cold because of the, I don't know, maybe just been simply because the plastic was still cold from the weather. Cause it was out standing out on the porch for a while, but it does generally work again. Just be careful. You have to, again, bend the hands around the bit, the, the, like the weapons to get them to go on and stuff. And she doesn't hold the, the actual the shotgun one very well. At least in my opinion, at least from what I'm doing, just yeah, this this one she doesn't really hold this particular weapon particularly well, no matter what I do. But she holds the the, the scythe mode pretty well, so uh, there you go. I guess that's that for her here. Yeah, she's good. If you so if you like Ruby, pick her up. Hopefully they'll finally announce Blake and um, Yang because they've been Weiss is supposed to come out late January, I believe. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if the other uh, half of the team comes out ever because I'm a little worried they'll like just give up just and whatnot so uh there you go so it's a good figure <laughs> i hope you found this informative and entertaining you'll like comment subscribe check out my uh social media it's in the description and in the end of the video check out my coffee my patreon and i shall see you next time with another video review